Are you an Instagrammer that likes to bathe in your own vanity? Perhaps you're a business owner and you want to show your customers how popular you are. Or maybe you're just a YouTuber and you want to see your live sub count before your very eyes. Well, whoever you are, boy, do I have the perfect product to show you. This is Flapit. It is a real life flip counter for all of your social media. Oh, and it tells the time too. Flapit is compatible with Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Google Plus, Yelp, the list goes on. And all it really does is show you how many followers, how many views, whatever you want to program into the counter so that your employees can stay motivated or that you can feel proud about your accomplishments or so that you can get other people to follow your brand. Now it's anything but cheap at $489. But when you see how robust and reliable the hardware is, coupled with an incredible web interface, the high price starts to make sense. Not to mention the fact that mine shipped free in just two days from Estonia. Flapit is pretty large at nearly two feet wide, five inches tall, five inches deep, and almost seven pounds. If you're going to put it in drywall like I've done, you're going to want some anchors or you could certainly just set it on a countertop. Now Flapit is Wi-Fi enabled, which allows it to fetch numbers and metrics from the cloud. Setting up Flapit is a breeze using the online web interface, which allows you to choose what social media sites show up and how long they display before switching to the next. You can even display custom messages up to six characters in length or take advantage of the API to code in your own metrics. Now I mentioned that Flapit only displays six numbers. So what happens when you pass a million? Well, let me show you. You may have heard how loud it is. If you didn't, it's loud. And that's really my biggest annoyance with Flapit. While handy that the web interface allows you to schedule operating hours, as well as manually pause and resume, it's loud enough that it's distracting when I'm trying to concentrate, and I have to pause it or unplug it all together when I begin to record, like right now, and therefore the number doesn't move and I have to remember to plug it back in, it's a whole thing. Thankfully, you can restrict how often Flapit updates, which is handy if you have a large following that's changing every few seconds. However, that limit is five minutes maximum. Now, I would have preferred the option to extend the update or refresh frequency to at least an hour, though I don't really know why there's a limit at all. Luckily, if you only want it to change once daily, say before you get into the office, you can set a very narrow scheduling window. Now, since the numbers aren't displayed digitally as a flip counter, the number text just stays on while it's turned off or disabled, which is handy. Flapit is really cool. It shows how many followers you have to the world and to yourself. But does anyone really need this? Well, I can see a business using it in their store to increase likes. But other than that, no, it's not really necessary. But just because it isn't necessary doesn't mean it's not freaking awesome to have as an office or room ornament and a tool for a content creator or social media guru. Flapit also has a sister company called AdPow that allows creators, YouTube creators specifically, to host giveaways, so paywall exclusive videos, and more. If you're a content creator, you should definitely check it out. I'm going to be using them, in fact, for a giveaway coming next week, so stay tuned for that. Well, there goes the Flapit. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, that other button seems to work okay too. Let me know what you think about the Flapit in the comments below. Is it cool? Is it dumb? Too expensive? Too cheap? That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay snazzy.